There are a couple of functions that Power BI provides as well to create calendar tables or date tables for your data model. So what we need to do for that is just go over here and click on new table. And let's call it a date table. And there is a function called calendar, which returns a table with one column of all dates between the start date and end date. So we can use this function and we can specify a start date and the end date. And the way you need to specify is date, year, month, and day. So let's say we want to create from 2018, month 01, day 01, uh, till uh, 2020, month 12, day 31. Right. If you just click on this, you can see that a date table has been created, as you can see from this side as well. And you have continuous date values from 2018 1 1 till the end of the date that we specified over here. So now there are sometimes requirements where you actually want to create a date table covering all the data ranges that you have in your data instead of specifying these constant values over here. So in that case, what can be done? So let's say we want to change the end date. In that scenario, we can use functions like, let's say, max, all right? And you have to provide your table from which you want to pick up your date. So let's say I want to pick up my date from the factory seller sales table and then you have to provide your expression. So my expression is going to be, let's say I want to pick it up based on the order date over here. All right, and let's change this to a little lower. 2010. And now let's create this table once again. So now we can see that the records have been created from 2010 and now let's just, Stop this in the descending direction. And we can see that the maximum date in our table was 29, 11, 2013. So the entire range of dates have been created till 2013, 29, 11, 2013. Now there's another function that can be used instead of the calendar function. So if we go back and use that function, start typing calendar, you will see that there's a function that is calendar auto. Now calendar auto returns a table with one column of dates calculated from the model automatically. So now the model automatically is going to use its intelligence and calculate the date. So let's just use calendar auto over here and fiscal year and month returns a table with one column of dates calculated from the uh, model uh, automatically so you have to just type your fiscal year and month um, let's say it is 12 for us and let's calculate And you can now see that it has created five, eight, four, four rows, the maximum being till the end of the current year, that is 31, 12, 2020. And if we sort it in the sending order, sorry, you sort it in the sending order, you'll see that it has started the date creation from 1, 1, 2005 based on the data that we had in our data model. Let's change the fiscal and month to, let's say it is 03. And now let's calculate. And you can now see that it has created our data from 2004. Now it has started creating it from 2004. So it has created more tables. And if we sort this back into the descending direction, you can see that it has created the data till 31 3 to 2021 so the end of the current fiscal year right so you can use this function as well uh, to create automatic date tables in power bi you can always enrich these tables by entering more columns your id columns and uh, generating your date key columns which can then be used to link to the other tables in your data model